Hi, in this tutorial I'd like to show you how you can get a sprite to uh, work with a projectile so they can throw or shoot a projectile. And in this case I'm just going to use a baseball. What I've done is, real simply, when you start this script you want the projectile to hide. And then if you want it to be able to do it more than once you're going to need a forever loop. And then inside that forever loop I have an if-then block. And for this one, I just set it up so if I hit the space key, that will start the code. So there's a couple things here. The first thing is go to sprite 1 and then point in direction of sprite 1. This little block right there can be found uh, with the sensing blocks. And it's right here. If there's a lot of options. You want to pick direction. Then once it's at sprite 1 and it's pointing in the same direction as sprite 1, you want it to show. And then I used a repeat until loop. And for this one, I just put repeat until touching the edge. It's going to move 10 steps. So no matter where it is, it'll keep moving 10 steps until it touches the edge, and then it'll hide. So we'll put that in the if then, and then we'll put that in the forever loop, and let's see how this works. So when I hit the space bar, no matter which way the sprite is facing, uh, I'm actually facing up right now, but I don't have the sprite rotating that way it shoots that projectile. There we go. Uh, if I wanted to add something a little bit different, I could take that code and simply add it to this fireball I created. And instead of the space key, why don't I just use the, the uh, key F for the fireball. It'll do the exact same thing. So if I run that and hit F, oh, I made a mistake there. I dragged the code over, but I didn't switch which sprite I was actually changing the script on. Here we go. Not quite working, so let's see what's going on here. There we go. One other thing I added to this is I have three different costumes. They're very close to each other, but what I can do is something very simple. I'll just keep the code right next to the uh, existing code. So the existing code controls whether the sprite is hidden or shown and where it goes. This code is going to uh, control the costume. So all I have to do is simply this. Now it gives that fireball the appearance that it's flickering and that code is separate from the other. So those are two ways uh, or two things you can do to create a projectile. I uh, hope, that's, hope that's helpful. I guess the last thing you could do if you wanted to is we could add this little bit here where this is adding a separate costume code to the cat. So let's see how this works. Now when the cat shoots a fireball uh, it looks more as if it's coming from his mouth and he has a meaner look on his face. Hope this is helpful for you. So get out there and get start programming.